providers have a challenge today. They have lots of spectrum and they have to deploy 2G, 3G, 4G and now 5G networks. And they have to do it with their existing assets, particularly tower space and uh, on, at their cell sites. We help the operators by producing the best in class antennas. We make sure these accommodate technologies pre-5G, as I mentioned before, right? And we make sure they have their future proof and have abundance and capacity to take, to take on all the challenges that 5G places in them. Uh, we have to make sure these equipment are also, uh, um, are also uh, um, capable of all the additional traffic, like I said earlier, and they have a long life and long, longevity uh, in the network, so it's never a wasted asset. We think we do this best because that's exactly our, our mindset when we manufacture and when we produce our equipment. It's a whole ecosystem, so to start with, I think one of the most important is to make sure as much as possible of what we do, we tend to try and do it with low energy in, at, the, at the point of input, yeah, low energy input, and we make sure the materials we use as best possible are recyclable. We also try to make sure the power consumption of our products are as low as possible, um, and, and lately we're thinking of ways in which we can take equipment post-deployment, return to factory and see where we can recycle post-deployment. So if you think about that, we have a number of partners that can help us with this, right? All our material providers, but also the network operators and the users. Uh, we can all partner in making sure that we bring uh, the overall energy use carbon footprint down uh, to levels that are more sustainable in the future. Basically, you need high bandwidth networks, low latency, right? Um, and so you need to build networks that are capable of that. Uh, again, you need the right set of equipment, you need at every cell site. In fact, you need to densify your cell sites to make sure uh, that you have this, this full coverage of, of uh, high bandwidth solutions and low latency. Again, like I said earlier, we think we our solutions provide options to the operators depending on the different scenarios, depending on the cost of ownership, return of investment, on how to address ensuring you have the maximum possible uh, high bandwidth solution at the lowest possible bandwidth. So they will remain relevant, right? And, and for them to remain relevant, they want it, and for them to differentiate amongst themselves, they have to now get into this realm of providing specific and unique and interesting use cases. That becomes their challenge, but the fact that the utility is, is definitely a, a given. We all need connectivity. They will all be relevant. They will all have different degrees of success depending on what use cases they bring out there to the users. But that's the excitement of our industry, and that's where we look forward to collaborating with, uh, with, with the MNOs.